Hi, I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is a short video about how we can end rent slavery on planet Earth, which is where we all are, this microscopic little rock in space. So why are we charging ourselves to exist? It doesn't make any sense. Of course, we're not charging ourselves. We're being charged for that, right? For the privilege of our own existence, we're paying hundreds, thousands of pounds per month and then add all the bills and the council tax, all this crap, right? Which is all basically contributing to 21st century modern psychological slavery. How do we end that? We end that by coming together to immunize ourselves against this mm, provoked trait of a human being, which is greed, right? It's not a natural instinct, I feel. It's something that's been trained, conditioned into us by way of capitalism. So what we need to do is balance out capitalism with socialism, create a foundation Shelter, energy, food and water, those things should be decommodified. Those things should be basic human rights, okay? This is where New Earth comes in because that's exactly what we're trying to do. So how can we end rent slavery? We can do it by coming together, reclaiming our land, hold it in common, diluting power through the immediate physiological requirements being met by way of these architectural projects, which you can all check out at newearth.land, okay? Shelter, energy, food and water, those things can be fulfilled. We have no externalized networks, not food coming from the other side of the world, right? Not your landlord over there who's uh, sunning himself on some sort of desert island, right? Whilst you're slaving away for them, right? So this is the whole class structure that we've been born into, right? But once we're all truly free, inequality won't matter so much. It's more poverty, right? Poverty is the problem. Once you resolve poverty, you're also ameliorating inequality. It's not about equal parity. It's about starting off with an even playing field, right? A fair, just world, right? So if you want to create that, we have to be the ones that do that because the government's never going to do it for us, right? How long have they had? It's not happened. It's not going to happen. I don't hear anyone in the political circles talking about true freedom. And so that's how they keep duping us, right? Whether you're a Trump supporter or an Obama supporter, left or the right, it doesn't matter. It's all one big pantomime, right? That dupes you. It sucks you into their narrative. Once you start supporting one of the teams, they win because they're both teams, right? And so we get into the Hegelian dialectic and how this really works in other videos. We've, of course, I've touched on that in the past, but... The point really here is for us to get out of this rat race, get out of this nine till six, right? It's this everyday normalized state of slavery, right? Where we don't have true, true choice. We have like the choice between Burger King or McDonald's for dinner, like I said, right? It's like, can I have broccoli? Can I have some avocado? Can I have, um, I don't know, can I just have some fruit? No, you know, you can't have that. It's, it's either that or that. And because that's shut our minds down, that's been the objective, right? That's our, our servitude is strictly objective, as I've talked to said. That's the objective choice from the beginning. It's like, well, you can do this, you can do that, you can do this, you can do that. It's like, well, can I just be free? No, you can't do that. Does that mean we're gonna sit around and watch paint dry? No, people often say that to me, like, oh, you think people, no, people are still gonna be incentivized to earn money. It's just that we shouldn't have to be earning money to exist, right? The fundamental things that we need for our survival, shelter, energy, food, and water, should be basic human rights. We can make it that way by coming together, crowdfunding our land, reclaiming it in common, and, fulfilling our immediate physiological uh, needs through the design of these autonomous co-housing projects. Um, no more slave to the wage, no more rat race, right? It doesn't, it doesn't need to happen, it's our choice. We need to see that we've been divided and ruled, so now we need to unite, we need to come together. As Martin Luther King said, those who love peace must learn to organize themselves as effectively as those who love war. And, and as uh, Buckminster Fuller said, you never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change something, you build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. Once we can get this out there, once we get this vision seen by the masses, it will become very transparent, very clear that this is the way forward, right? Post-capitalism, it's balanced out socialism with capitalism. Let's not get sort of too polarized. Oh, I'm a capitalist, I'm a socialist. Let's see what we can bring together, synthesize, right? Balance is at the heart of this. I'm a Libra, of course. Um, anyway, that's a short video on how we can end slavery. And um, I hope you liked it. Good night.